Welcome to Dick and Dom Mansions, me being Dick. And me being... Well, hang on a minute. Before I say who I am, let's have a quick memory test. Okay. <clears throat> Describe a typical day in Dal Bungalow. Okay. Uh, dark, mm. empty, mm. and absolutely no atmosphere. Strange, I remember it being a lot more lively than that. OK, memory test number two. What's my name? Where are you going with this? <laughs> OK, here's a clue. Oh, to Claire here, yeah. yes. Yeah, Claire's dead. Your turn, Ben. All right, then. Ben? <laughs> Dom, how did you call me Ben? I just called you Ben. Why didn't you call me Ben? I don't know. Right, just, right, it's the new wig. You look like Ben, ben now. All right, Terry. All right. Ben! Can you believe that, viewers? We've known each other for, for about eight years. And we grew up together. We used to play stick and hoop together, whip and top. And now, after all this time, he calls me Ben. Ben! My showbiz pal for so many years, you can't even remember my name! Oh, come on, it was five years ago. Just get on with the show. Who are you talking to? Me or Ben? Hmm. These are the diaries of Dick and Dom. The following stuff and nonsense from Dick and Dom in the Bungalow was first shown live between 2002 and 2006. Enjoy! Yeah, I love you too. Yeah, no, no, you put the phone down first. Come on, you put the phone down first. Uh, uh, yes, uh, it's a very good deal. Let me get back to you. Hello. Welcome to another edition of Game or No Game. Two boxes, one choice. One contains a bungalow game. Maybe this one, or maybe not. Let's find out. It's time to choose your box. You want to go for this one. You don't want me to change your mind. OK, you're very insistent. Let's take a look inside. It's the big, bad, blooming bungalow bonus bonanza banging booty break game. It's one of my all-time favourites. It's so long, we couldn't even fit it on the card. <laughs> bad, blooming bungalow bonus bonanza banging booty break game. We're not cutting any corners here. It's a brand new game. We like to have brand new prizes. Here you go. This it's a, it's a bonus part of the show as well as bungalow points today. They can win that. Prize. Look at that. Look, look at that. The faces lighting up. Look at that. There you go. That's, that's one of the prizes. Check that out for a star <laughs> prize. <laughs> what about that? Come on now, don't you? Hey. Do you like the prizes? Yeah. The, the, the no. winner gets everything now. The whole lot. The DVD and TV and the scooter. Oh, scooter. no, no. Off. Okay, should we explain the rules then? Okay, yeah. Okay, hang on a minute. Let's just get this here. Right, this is what you've got to do. <laughs> here we go. Are you ready? Listen carefully. The object of the game is to achieve five out of the seven available within the indicated time limit. You're not allowed to bend your knees or let both of your feet leave the floor at the same time unless you hear this noise. <laughs> Three twists and a hand clap make up a one quarter point. I don't get that. In the event of an undiluted triple, both players must immediately instigate what we call the Milford con con Contingency, revealing the third letter of their surname before exposing a flattened hand to the player with the lowest score at that time or the fifth Wednesday of each month. I don't get it. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Daddy, you're understanding Only the player with the most points and a scoop word in their possession is allowed to take on the other player with a hands-free challenge in order to obtain the greater of the two results. But please be aware that in the event of hearing this noise, 
the game must stop and a hand count will follow. The loser of which must then forfeit their points up to and including the score they had achieved before any further moves are made or bungalow bonus tokens are awarded. Now, you also need this, Daniel, you need that, and Amy, you need those. You have 30 seconds on the clock and your time starts now! Go! 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 It's your fault for not understanding. <laughs> These prizes Bye. will be back next week on the Big Bad Bungalow Bonanza. No, that's we'll it. We'll give you ten bungalows. No, prizes. why? Oh! Oi! I didn't Oi. know Oi. You've been had. We have the nation as we travel up and down, so grab your coat for Bungalow Bow Town. Bow Town. Hello, and welcome to... Dick and Dom's Dirty Day in Rochester. We've got half an hour to get members of the public to make us as dirty as they can. The dirtiest one after half an hour will be the winner. Um, I just wonder if you could do me a favour. Um, I wonder if you could just come with me to the to the top of the glass and get up there and just just push me down the hill. Sure. Just roll, roll me. Um, ready? Thank you. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. I'm going to make you dirty. You're going to make me dirty. On the end, on the end. Oh, and your face. <laughs> oh. You. Dirty little monkey. <laughs> Perfect. Now, if you could push me on the back. Yeah, just push me. Ooh. Ah! Land me legs. All over me legs. And all over me head. Oh, feel like a bacon sandwich. <laughs> Cheers. Give it to me and I'll open it. Oh. Perfect. And, uh, actually, I'm gonna, uh, uh, I'll just uh, hang on a minute. Oh. Oh, that's lovely. Quick. And then just tip, tip them on the end. That's lovely. Thank you. Thank you. That's perfect. Make, make, me, make me orange. You've made me look beautiful. Thanks, girls. Must go. Yeah, might as well. Might as well give them the whole hog. Yeah. Well, what? Beautiful. All right. Do you want to look alright? Perfect. Hello. Just, just, just give us good. Uh... Yeah, that's lovely. Thank you. I just need, need to wash my hair a bit. Ah, oh, that's it. All over your head. All over your head. Ah, oh. oh, you dirty little rascal. Right. Let's start heading back. Only nine minutes to go. Ah! Need to have more of a dirty day. What you got in your bag? Ooh, they're going! <laughs> you know! How did you know? More! All of them! If you don't need them! Dirt! <laughs> Dirty! <laughs> Near body move. Bursting on the scene with a Near body move. He's a Jordy cop with a case to prove. So gangsters, burglars, and cheeky juveniles, he'll get you back to rights and slap you in the bat files. Bat files! Oh, that's better. Detective Inspector Harry Bat back on the beat. Now, if there's one thing I have learned, it's how to make an entrance. <laughs> now then, now then. PC praise idiot. Bring in the Deer's ex bungalow head and near small talk. I'm very busy. Right. Hello, sir. Here is ex bungalow head Amy. Why are you shouting? You said no small talk, sir. Get out, you praise idiot. You sit down there. Right then, name, Amy, bungalow age then, nine, age now, 15. 
Ah, uh, yes. We saw you playing the blooming booty bonanza game earlier, where Dick and Dom robbed you out of all those lovely praises. Which gives to explain this bit of stroppiness. I don't think we're very popular. <laughs> Can someone... Oh, look at her. Amy! <laughs> How much you hate us? Oh, look at Amy! Oh, what? This look is at Amy! Yeah. I hate you all off. This is, this is just yeah. Amy. Yeah. Just yeah. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> thanks. It made them all off anyway, so thanks for that. <laughs> no. <laughs> no How much did you hate them? A lot. I would have thrown something heavier if I could. But... Oh, really? <laughs> you see, I like that kind of attitude with us two, because I hate them as well. But, what can I say? Having a sour face, it's not exactly a criminal offence on the bungalow, but this is... Right, what are we going to do now? You're disqualified for cheating. Sir, the balloon game's over, and you thought I'll just sneak another little balloon into me, me pants and win a few more prizes. For the benefit of the jury at home, let's take a look at that skullduggery again. Look, what have you got to say for yourself about that, eh? Well, you're too old to understand what winning means to a nine-year-old. I'm too old to understand. How old do you think I am? Well, you've got grey hairs coming. I've got grey hairs coming? In this luxurious mane, did make me laugh. Is that all you've got to say on that? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Nothing in your defence whatsoever. This is going to be an opening shut case. All right, well, let's get back to the scowling, shall we? It says here on your short sheet that you turn this to your advantage when you play the game Do Not Laugh or You Will Lose. Oh, oh Sarah's already having a little smirk. Keep Wait. your eyes on her, Dom. Keep your eyes on her. <laughs> Sarah might be having a smirk. However, Amy has <laughs> a miserable, miserable non-smiley face. Oh! Sarah, you lost! Sarah, you did so well, but now you're in third place. Sarah, you've, you've got to mean... first place. Yeah! 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 Have you tried? To, have you tried to play it before? That's the way of the game, eh? What's it like having a naturally miserable face? Yeah, so you smile when you're winning, didn't you? Different burl of fruit then, isn't it? <laughs> Look at me, I'm winning, I'm winning, I'm winning. Only got to see about that behaviour. I won. So? And? I'm not miserable, am I? I won. Well, That's what you had to you're do. not miserable there, but you spent the rest of the time with the right poor face on. Prove it. Prove it? I've just have. I've got all the evidence I want. I could Wait. put your bank to rights. It didn't work, did it? What didn't work? You didn't prove it to me. You're not out of this interview room yet, pet. So, yeah, I'll tell you what. Let's see if you've reformed your ways a little bit. It's time to steer me out, if you dare, with a little bit of do not laugh or you will lose. I'm going to hit you with some of my best material. If you laugh, then uh, that'll be it. You'll be on your way near the charges. Right? We've... Uh, just had all our toilet papers stealing from the station. At the moment, we've got nothing to go on. Not the flicker. Was that the flicker? No. You're not repenting? No. It's all over. You didn't really care about your fate. Well, I didn't laugh, did I? No, you didn't laugh. You didn't laugh. Don was right. What's it like to have a naturally sour face? It's quite fun. Quite fun. Right, PC praise, idiot. What are you doing now? But, just a minute, if you've written all that down beforehand, how do you know what I'm going to say next? You haven't thought it through, have you? What are you? That's right, get rid of her. Yeah, just a minute. 
What's 25 times 13? <laughs> Who do you think you are? Oh, very good. Right, I'll have one from the top and four from anywhere else. Now get out. What a shambles. He's a cat in a flap, it's a matter of fact That he likes a good chat, all about this and that He's a the low star, and he's sure travel far So there's no turning back from the cat flap Chat attack! What on earth do you want? Frankly, I'm not impressed. You're not coming in, and you're not coming to London. If you're looking for the little fella, and I don't mean Louis, check down below. Oh, hello, Cat here. Now, as my new best friend today is Simon Cowbell, I couldn't resist starting my show with a song. I dream of having toilet paper all fluffy, soft and new To freshen up my backside after a gloopy poopy woo Oh yeah, and if I were a rich cat, I'd buy quilted triple dry not childhood greaseproof frog roll that scratched and made me cry. In jasmine yellow, apricot bliss, or white summer brides. But try to save some money and probably use both sides. Oh, toilet paper, toilet paper, alas, I have none. So until I get me paws on a roll, I'll have to use me chip wrapper, jazzy. Well, if I'm being completely honest, it sounded like a cat stuck up a tree. Wow! He really knows his stuff. Thank you, Simon. OK, time now for some cat chat. We've had many lively characters in the bungalow, but none more so than my next guest today. Please welcome Dan! Hello, how are you? Oh, no, no, don't, don't answer that. Let's watch this first. How, How do, do you feel? feel? I feel like death. <laughs> wow, great catchphrase. I feel like death. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what was that? You said I feel like death. Now you've only got eight lives left. Uh, okay, uh, moving swiftly on. What else did you do on the show? My deathly power manifested itself in the form of a sphere of huge proportions, filled with pungent liquids from the depths of darkness. Oh, uh, you mean the balloon of doom? Yes. A large balloon with creamy muck muck in it. Uh, yes. <laughs> Swollen balloon. <laughs> a big bang. Pop it, pop it, pop it. I hope you don't get any whiplash from that because. Pop, pop it, Bob, pop it. Go and pop the big red sack. Uh, the balloon! Uh, <laughs> Very nice. Nicely done. Well, death. It really has been a privilege, and I'm sure it's not the last we've heard of you. I'd stake my life on it. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's another one. You've only got seven left. Ah, I'm out of here! <laughs> know what? I like you. You've got the look, you've got great stage presence. Let's do business together. <laughs> Hello, Mum? Yes. I'm through to the live show. <laughs> Here's the pick of the show and a long running blow to the hoity toity folk who don't enjoy a joke. If you've got a heart condition or a nervous disposition, go and buy some vehicle to call a good physician. Cause we're gonna shout buggies till we're banned from every building in the world. here outside a supermarket ready to go inside and play a game of celebrity bogeys against the moodiest bird with the biggest gob in CBBC. It's Danny Harmon who plays Tracy Beaker. Yes! Yeah, yes, he thinks he's going to win. So, can Wood Three. beat a beaker? Time to find out. Wood to begin. Bogey. Exceptionally long but rather soft. 1.5. <laughs> A bit mouldy, that one. <laughs> right, now I must warn you, I think I have got the biggest gob in CBBC, OK? Do you reckon? Yeah. You have got a bit of a reputation, eh? <laughs> yes. Let's walk down the fish and see how big your gob is. Delightful. 1.5 to beat. Bogies! Ooh, cheeky. 1.8. <laughs> Wood, 
Say cheese. Bogies. 2.4. This crowd can't get enough. It never ties, you know. Still as funny as the first time we ever did it, about in two swords. Bogies! Nice response from Danny Harmer, 3.4. <laughs> Hey, working you, on the stage, dear. The diaphragm. The diaphragm. Discussion of tactics. What's he doing? Bogies. Receiving a 4.7. Look at that. Jar of bogies. Oh, oh no. Bogies. Saucy. 5.0. Can't get beat by a girl. There's no way. Oh yes, yeah, she girl. can. Look at that. 6.3 on the snotometer and joy <laughs> spread throughout the community. <laughs> What's Beaker got? Bogies! She's got 6.7 and Dom's got a froggy dustbin lid. Everything clear? <laughs> Tissues. It's perfect for wiping away. Seven point two fearsome. Now, bogies by a nasal hair's breadth. Seven point three. Did it? <laughs> yeah. Got you right in the larynx. <laughs> it certainly did. So, Wood applying a little bit of lippy. Does that help? Yeah. Always likes to look his best on these occasions. Here he goes. Nice, but oh, Claudia Schiffer, eight point four. Didn't realise she shopped here. Nice to see you. Eight point four to beat. Beaker. Bogies. Eight point seven. More than that, she's won. Bogies. It's the winner. Beaker's won. Right, Could have believed it. He wouldn't. <laughs> oh, digit. Ah, now, in in many respects. The Muck Muck finale was the jewel in the bungalow's crown. So we painstakingly spent ages deliberating which ones to select. Until today, yeah. when we couldn't be bothered. No. So as a special surprise for you... And us. Hmm, here is... something. This week's Jim Connor of la 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 limla itchy pitchy poo whoopy smap me scoops me who wants to be a mucky and air? Welcome to a lower edition of Who Wants to Be a Mucky and Air? Uh, two great teams for you tonight. We've got the prize winners, of course, playing the prize losers. Everything to play for, uh, playing for those illustrious ten questions that will take them up to a million buckets of muck. Uh, all we require, all our contestants to pour a bucket of slop over their heads and uh, the person who does it in the fastest time gets control of the game for their team. Oh, what a bizarre thing to do. Uh, <laughs> uh, right, OK. Uh, OK, so uh, fingers, fingers on your buckets and the first person to uh, do it will take control of the game. Away you go now. Oh. OK, so Richard, come and join me. Okay, Richard, are you ready to play for a million buckets? Yes. Okay, so let's play Who Wants to Be a Mucky and Air? Okay, okay. <laughs> Wrong. Uh, right, okay, Richard, what would you put on a jam sandwich? Uh, is it A, fish, B, jam, uh, or C, chocolate spread, or D, cheese? Uh, as quick as you can. Jam, C. C, Was jam. It is it B? B, jam. Is that, is that, is that your final answer? final answer? Final answer. Final answer. It's good. Your next team member, please. Rosie. Uh, you're a sheet metal welder from Wales, I believe. <laughs> Quite interesting. Uh, right, OK, for 8,000 buckets, Rosie, what kind of animal do you usually pin the tail on at parties? OK, is it rabbit, elephant, donkey or rhino? Donkey. It's a donkey. Is that your final answer? Yeah. It's good. You've got, you got 8,000 buckets. Oh, lost the uh, carpet. OK. Where does the prize idiot live? Uh, does he live in Peru, the next town, three miles north, or next door? 
next door. Fire lots. <laughs> Yeah. That is your final answer. It's good. You've got sixteen thousand pounds. Absolute madness breaking out. Uh, uh, in, in which year did the pop group Busted split up? Was it 1999, 2000, 2005, or 2006? Can, um, have I got any lifelines? Yeah. Uh, you've got two lifelines left. You've got fifteen seconds with the encyclopedia, or muck the audience. I think I'm going to have to... Can I muck the audience? Uh, well, if you want to trust the audience on this, away you go. You've got ten seconds to muck the audience. Okay, <laughs> oh, no. oh, absolutely bizarre. Uh, there she goes. Oh, so I give her the answer. Uh, <laughs> absolute bad bizarre. Really don't know. Going on. Wasn't it frightfully clever the way we changed the word million for muck? I mean, it was, it was, um, it was genius. Genius. Yes. Yeah. Well, I think you get the idea by now. The prize winners went on to reach 64,000 buckets of mo muck. And then the prize losers drew level. This is to win the game and steal the prizes. In the fairy tale, why did Sleeping Beauty fall, as fall asleep? Did she, A, prick her finger? Uh, was it B? Uh, she was in maths. <laughs> uh, C. She was tired. Or D. She just finished a marathon. Think nice and clear. She pricked her finger. She pricked her finger. Well, what makes you think that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. Okay. So, is that your final yeah. answer? It's the final answer. Sophie. Sophie. You had 64,000 buckets. <laughs> <laughs> You've just won 125,000 buckets! So that is absolutely phenomenal. The prize losers steal the prizes this week and take everything and clean the prize winners out. And at this, at this point, there is the little girl.